my lifestyle for me. I'm just a dead motherfucker and I'm toxic as a bitch. A dead motherfucker and I'm toxic as a bitch. I'm just a dead motherfucker and I'm toxic as a bitch. What's going on, y'all? Y'all now tuned to the Sex Buddy Yank with your host, AM the Old Body, aka <laughs> the most tatted toxin of them all. You may not agree. It's a lot of people that agrees. But with further ado, we're going to get into another episode. We're going to talk about a great topic today. And, you know, I want everybody to enjoy. So listen. <clears throat> I, want to, I want everybody to understand what it means to know your fucking value. And, you know, I... I can't stress it enough because when you know your value, like, and, and let me just clear this up. When I say know your value, I want you to know your value in all forms, fashion, any area of life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want you to know your value. I want you to understand your value. I want you to know what you bring to the table, what you don't bring to the table, what's your weaknesses, what's your strength. All that comes into knowing your value. You get what I'm saying? So I don't care if you're doing business I don't care if you talking about relationships, friendships, family, um, anything. Like, I want you to understand what your true value really is. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't understand it. And a lot of people don't, a lot of people think because when they say they value or they say, oh, I'm worth this and I'm worth that. But do you, like, how do you say that and you don't even know <clears throat> your real strengths, your real weaknesses? Like, this, this, that's the shit that to me means like that's what it like. That's the shit that you got to think about when you talk about your real, true, core value. Like, what is your value? What do you bring to the table? That's another thing that people say that a lot of people don't understand or a lot of people don't really, you know, like get. I guess I don't know because like when people say, "What do you bring to the table?" Especially in a relationship, people be like, "Oh." I'm a good, I'm a good provider or like men say it a lot. I'm a good provider or I'm a good this, I'm a good that. And it's like, bro, like, do you really provide really? Like, are you a good provider? Like, because there's levels to it. I'm going to be honest with you. It's real life levels to being a good provider in a relationship. Um, and it's not just money wise. People think that when you say, oh, when a woman asks a man, what do you bring? What is, what do you bring to the table? A lot of men first thought is financial. And I'm going to be honest with you, that don't really, like, to a lot of women, like, a woman that gets her own bag a lot, a woman that does her own and can carry that shit, that don't mean shit to her. Like, I'm talking about what do you bring, when she asking you what do you bring to the table, she's talking about, like, can you can you provide mental stability? Can you can you provide emotional stability, like, security? Like, do, like can what do you bring to the table? Can you tell me, like, all right, listen— I may not be able to bring in the best money right now, but I can like mentally, physically, emotionally, I can, I can give you security. You get what I'm saying? Or I can provide the mental strength that we may need in this relationship that you may not have or the emotional and same with women. Like a lot of when men ask, what do you bring to the table? Are you a good nurture? Are you a good nurturer as a mother? Like, can you provide, can do you know when to give me that, that real like stern, but, but soft love at the same time. Do you know how, like, when I'm feeling down, do you know how to motivate me? Do you know how to tell me, like, listen, babe, it's going to be all right. It's going X, Y, and Z, this, then, the third. Cool. Those are the things, like, because money don't, right, like, after the, like, think about, take the fucking money out. Let's, like, let's be real. If we take the money out of a lot of situations, let's be completely honest. What do you bring to the table? Let's take, let's take the the sex and all that out too. Like, can you can you mentally provide stability? Can you provide security? Can like emotionally, do you know how to handle that person? Can you, are you willing to really get the you know take the time to really get to know that how to handle that person emotionally, mentally? That's on a relationship level. What you like, you know, what do you bring to the table, or what's your value like? <laughs> And, and, and I'm going to be honest because a man may have a vision. So I want to say this. A man may have a vision. And as his woman, as his partner, I feel like 
what if he has a vision, what can you bring to the table that will help him execute that vision? Are you good with details? Are you good with organizing? Are you good with being like, listen, no, we're not doing that. So we're not doing that. This is what you need to do. You want to do this, but this is what you need to do to get to that level, to be able to do what you want to do. <clears throat> Are you able to really, you know, say those things to me, but not say them in a, a, a demanding or a bossy way? Can you say those things to me in a tone where I'm going to understand it, where I'm going to like, where I'm going to digest it very, very well? You know what I'm saying? So that's on a relationship level. Now on a friendship level, when somebody like who you around, like what do they bring to the table? They, that that shit matters. Like, is you the person that's only gonna call me when I'm I'm going through something? Not meant like no. Are you the only person that's gonna call me when you want to call like to gossip or to talk about other people's bullshit? <clears throat> Are you that person? Because that's not value. That's not bringing value to me. Not what so fucking ever. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about what the next motherfucker's doing. What they like? What's the saying? How the saying go? What they shit don't make me eat or whatever. Like. Like, however, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying is. Don't quote me on that, but I know it's something like that. What they eat don't make me shit. There you go. What they eat don't make me shit. You know what I mean? P you know, mind the business that pays you. So don't don't keep calling me about like, yo, I saw this or yo, da -da 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 -da. let me tell you how such and such was this, then the third. Don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that that's not doing nothing but bringing negative energy to my fucking life or to what the fuck I'm trying to do. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's a big part in knowing your value like are you just a gossip person because if you're just a gossip person you don't bring no fucking value to what i'm doing and i'm a, and i'm and, and i'm gonna be honest with you it's sad to say that but that's just the honest to god fucking truth you don't bring no fucking value all you want to do is gossip and tell me how this person did that or that person did this you don't bring no fucking value you get what i'm saying that's just a, that's one level of knowing your value value in a friendship knowing people values in a friendship what do you bring to the table in a friendship you get what i'm saying that's just one way Another way is asking the motherfucker like, yo, listen, can you help me build what I'm trying to build? As a friend, as a friend, can you help me build what I'm trying to build? Can you? What do you bring to the table? Like, can you help me build this business? Can you help me? Can you, like, again, can you help me mentally? Like, can I call you and ask you for advice and you give me fucking advice? Can I call you and tell you that I'm going through something and you know how to help me get through that shit? Do you know the right things to say to me as a person? And everybody is different. So do you know what to say to me as as my homie, as my, you know, as my sis, my bro, my cuz, whatever the fuck I call you? Do you know what the, you know, and that's, and like I said, do you know what to say to me mentally, emotionally? Like if I'm feeling depressed, do you know how to help me get out that rut? If I'm feeling really emotional at that time, you know, are you a good ear to listen to? And I'm gonna be honest, you know, some people you can't you can't talk to a lot of motherfuckers. So if they if they're a good listener and they gonna hold your secrets, they're gonna hold your demons, they're gonna help you battle your demons, that's a great, that's a great, you know, thing to bring to the table. Because at the end of the day, I heard a quote and and I and I'm and I firmly stand on this quote, like, don't vent to everybody, because you gotta remember vent. Vince, you know what I mean? Vince going to other rooms. Just is that simple. Like Vince going to other rooms. So what I may be telling you, it may like, you know what I mean? What you telling that person may be going into another room. You may not know it right now, but I'm trying to tell you it's gonna go into another room. So you gotta think about who you vent to. But all like I said, all that comes with knowing your fucking value. Like knowing like I value my peace enough that I'm not gonna tell you my fucking business. I value, you know, what I'm going through. Like if I'm depressed, I value that shit enough that I'm not about to sit there and tell you because I know you're going to go tell the next motherfucker, yo, let me tell you how this person, how how such and such going through some shit right now, X, Y, and Z. No, like those are the type of people that don't bring value to your fucking life. The, the type of people that you need to bring in your life. And like I said, that's just on a friendship level. Things get a little bit tricky when it comes to business. I'm going to be honest with you. Things get a little tricky when it comes to business because at the, at the simple fact that when when you're talking about what do you bring in business, <laughs> listen, I done had a lot of people talk to me in business, you know what I mean, with business shit and this and that there. And a lot of reasons why I don't do a lot of shit is because I know what I bring to the table. And I feel like if you really want to sit down, like, like 
if you are, if you got your friends, your your family, whoever, and you want to do business with them, understand that if you take the friendship out, you take the family shit out, you take all that, like you know, you take the relationship out because you may go into a business with your partner. Take all of that shit out. Take the emotions out. Strictly look at shit as a business, especially if y'all going into business together. What is it that you bring to the table? You get what I'm saying? When I do business. I look at it like the moment that somebody starts talking to me about business, I think about shit like, what do I really bring to the table? And that's just me being honest. Like, what do I really bring to the table? So, and and, and I'm only going to name some things because I think people don't understand when I, like, when it comes to business, this is the type of shit. And that's, that's a major thing because that's money involved and that's, that shit can get real tricky and people get tricky at your spot. People can really do a lot of shit. So when you say like in business, when you when somebody asks you, what do you bring to the table? What's your greatest assets? Or what's this and the third? What can you? I look at shit like that because for me, I'm going to be honest. I'm a motherfucker that can, I can do the logo. I can come up with the name. I can come up with a slogan for it. I can make our merch. I can, um... I'm going to invest. I'm going to heavily invest in shit. And nine times out of ten, whatever we're going to do, I already didn't got. I already got the shit that we probably need, or I know how to get the shit in a in a nice, timely manner. Um, what else? Uh, let me see. What else can I do? Um, I know how to trademark this shit. I know how to get this shit LLC. I know how to, you know, I know how to make sure that everything, all the paperwork is right. Before we do anything, I know to set. I know to set up a bank account so all that money can go in and this, that, and a third account. I know how to do all that shit. So, again, for me, like when we talk in business, you got to make sure because that's a lot of shit. Like that's like even in the music industry. Let's be real. A lot of labels sign artists and shit, and they trademark their name, they 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 artist name, they trademark this, they trademark that. They they do a lot of shit. That's why a lot of people get fucked over because they don't understand their true value. That's why a lot of labels do shit like, um, you know, that's why it's a lot of, a lot. you hear a lot of artists talking about their deals. You hear a lot of artists being like, oh, I was in a fucked up deal. I was in a fucked up deal. It's You you only was in a fucked up deal because you didn't know your value. You didn't, you know, you didn't really, uh, you know, revise the, the contract. You didn't really look at shit. You didn't do none of that. And I know me, like if I'm going into a deal with a label, I'm going to look at it like, listen, I'm not like. Granted, I'm not going to say I don't need, but if if I need to make my merch, nine times out of ten when I'm on tour and I'm chilling or if I'm in between shows or whatever, I'm going to design my merch for that, you know, for my tour. I'm going to design, I'm going to have all that shit already ready. You get what I'm saying? Like my album cover, I'm going to design it myself. I'm going to do it myself. Um, Like vlogging, I can vlog my shit myself. You know what I mean? I can edit all that shit because I've done it before. So I know what goes into that shit. Now, granted, would it be a helpful hand to get a, you know, a, a, a cameraman? Yes, it would, because then that would take some stress off of me. You get what I'm saying? But, again, it's all about going into knowing your value, what you bring to the motherfucking table. And, again, a lot of people don't know that. And I don't give a fuck what level you're on. I feel like you need to know your value on all levels, whether it's relationship, friendship, um, relationship, friendship with family, with um business even with your own fucking self what am i bringing like am i mentally like yo some motherfuckers gotta even ask themselves am i mentally strong to handle myself am i mentally able to like am i secure mentally am i secure emotionally if you're not i don't feel like you should be doing a lot of shit like until you get secure mentally emotionally physically um, financially, I feel like a lot of things you should not do. And, and don't, okay, so let me say, I sh- I'm not gonna say you should not do it, but I feel like it'll be a better choice to, you know, to wait on a lot of, th- on some things, not all things, but some things. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an iffy situation when it comes to a relationship, because if you're not mentally there or physically there or, you know, emotionally there, those things count in a relationship, especially when you're dealing with a woman or, you know, women dealing with a man. You know what I'm saying? It's or your partner in general. Like, honestly, it's a lot that go into that because that person may not be mentally, you know, secure or emotionally secure. And you dealing with that person 
after, once you dug in with somebody, you kind of take on that responsibility. I'm going to be honest with you. So at that point, if y'all both not mentally secure or, you know, there or emotionally there, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a lot of rough times and y'all going to end up being real, real fucking toxic. It's going to be a lot of arguing because it got to be a level-headed person at some point in time or y'all got to be level-headed on, like, I may not be level-headed at this point, but you level-headed at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it got to be. Like, all right, this situation, I wasn't a little, I wasn't level-headed, but you was, so it balanced out. Or that situ- next situation, you may not be, you know, level-headed. I may be more level-headed, so it... Sometimes you got to be able to balance the shit out. You know what I mean? But again, all that shit goes into knowing your core fucking, like knowing your value, knowing what you bring to the table. Because, you know, I mean, what do you bring to the table? That's the question I really want to ask a lot of people. And I want people to really, I want people to really be able to tell me that. Like, what do you bring to the table? Sit back, think about that shit. Write it the fuck down. Like, write down your pros and cons of yourself, right? Write down what your strength and your weaknesses is. We about to go into 2024. Like, please, like, stop dealing with people, like, in all in all of them areas that I just named. Stop dealing with motherfuckers if you don't even know your value yet. If you don't even know what you bring to the table yet. You get what I'm saying? Before any of that, know what you bring to the table. Because, <clears throat> listen, a motherfucker that got their shit together... It's going to be real hard. And it's not to say to impress them or get them, but a motherfucker that got their shit together, it's going to be real hard to, to maintain them. Like, because they got their shit, they, they, they together. So now, and, and, and most of the times when people that got their shit together, they don't really want to, they don't have the time to fix you. You got to fix yourself. You get what I'm saying? So just know your value, man. Like, and that's just me being completely honest and just not, and not sugarcoating and shit. Know your fucking value. Know what you bring to the table. Because at the end of the day, if you don't, you're going to get fucking screwed in a lot of situations. It don't, like Again, it don't matter whether you're talking about business, friendship, relationship, family, whatever. If you don't know your value and what you bring to the table and you don't negotiate it or you don't talk about it, you're going to get fucked over at the end of the day. And then when it, when it all boils down, you're going to be upset. When in reality, it's your fault from the fucking beginning because you didn't know your fucking value. Just you gotta call a spade a spade, and we just going, we gonna say that like that. And 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 again, if you feel like I'm telling you a fucking lie, then okay, th- this is my opinion. This is how I see shit, and this is me really being under like real shit. Like this is just me. Like I'm just telling y'all my opinion on this shit. And a lot of you got you got to understand, a lot of people gonna agree with me, and a lot of people not, and that's fucking fine. But I know the shit that I be saying be making sense. A lot of people just going to argue just to argue. So, you know. But with further ado, until the next show, <laughs> stay toxic and die tatted. You did.